Good day, everyone. This video is designed to take you through um, a general idea of what the individual final practical project slash assessment, which is 30% of your course grade, includes. So this will be rolled out um, during week three, um, which starts on January 31st. At that point, all the students should be set for the class that are going to be um, taking the class. Um, drop ahead period will have been over. So um, during that session, the um, rubrics will be explained and the project will be explained. So there'll be four videos in all for the project. This one, which is an overview of what the project entails um, and the key dates. Then you will have a video for the business proposal, one for the budget, and one for the video presentation. Okay, so let's get started. Um, the project will have basically three elements. You will be proposing a business. Each student will complete this individually. This is not a group work. This course has no group work, so you must do this individually. Um, your business proposal will have the following elements. A cover page, it will have a computer generated um, based upon the headings for each section, table of contents. It will have an executive summary. It will have the methodology, which is the details of your business model. What type of business will you have? Will it be a delivery business? Will it be a restaurant? Will it be a, a taxi stand? Will it be a taco stand? What, what are you going to have? You will have an IT element. How will you use information technology in your business? Um, you're going to explain this, you know, the procedure, whether you're going to have um, a website, whether you're going to use certain types of software, um, what are you going to use to, to enhance your business and protect your assets? You will have an about us section, which will talk about you and your experience and why you think you'll be successful in this business or field. You will have a pricing financial section, which will discuss the prices, um, how you come up with the prices and your finances for your business. You will have a timeline from the time you propose it through the opening of your business. You will have the terms and conditions by which people will be able to pay for your products and services, if you will offer credit or not. If you are a small business, this is where you would discuss some of your um, terms that you will try to negotiate with your creditors and with your suppliers. You will have a final thoughts where you will wrap up your business proposal and you will have a references section. Um, there'll be more detail provided on the business proposal in the business proposal video itself. Um, you will have references for all of your cited work to support your proposal, a minimum of four, which you will follow the rubric below for more details. Okay. Then you have your uh, Excel uh, portion, right? The first portion must be done in Microsoft Word. The second one must be done in Microsoft Excel. There's no, um, no deviating from that. You will have a budget, which will highlight what you plan on spending each month for the entire year in each of the categories that pertain to your business. So whether it be food costs, utilities, rent, um, labor, payroll, taxes, so forth, all of that will be there. You'll be break it down into three sheets. One will be an overview, which will be the actual profit and loss budget for the year by month, which will show all of your assets or income, all of your expenses, and how much is left over would be either be your net loss or your net profit. Sheet two will be a detailed listing by sales or department for each month. And sheet three will be an itemized monthly breakdown of expenses. So you'll have three sheets in this, right? Again, you'll have to follow the rubric for, for more details. The last part is a video presentation that you must have yourself on camera and include a PowerPoint or similar type of presentation software. You should may not be showing the Word or Excel files during this presentation. So one, you need to be on video during the presentation, which means you need to be dressed professionally, have a professional background. Um, you also would be showing your either your PowerPoint or whatever presentation that you're going to be using. You're going to be showing bits and pieces of your proposal, the highlights of your proposal, the highlights of your budget, and you will do this over a 10 minute period, right? So the key dates that we have here is week three. You have January 31st, which is when you will be, um, the project will be rolled out to you officially and, and the rubrics will be explained. You can always come back and watch these videos over and over until you feel comfortable with the material. Sunday, February 6th, your first project update will do. It will be due. This is not graded. Each student will submit a one-page Word document 
with the type of business or service that you'll be doing your proposal on. This again will not be graded but is required so that your instructor can provide you feedback um, if you took, chose a business that may have too wide of a scope, okay, or too narrow. Sunday, February 20th, um, which is two weeks later, the project update two will be due. This is now a business and overview. Each student will submit a one-page document that outlines all of the information that will be included in your Word and Excel submission and outline of each of the elements of the contents. So basically, you'll have three sections, right? You can do it in table form. You can say the business proposal, and you could list all of your headings. And then to the right, you could list a little bit about what will be in each section. This is where I will discuss this. This is where I will discuss this to make sure that you're on track. Again, this is not graded but your lecturer will give you feedback based upon what you submitted so to ensure that you're on the right track before you get too far into the project. The second part, you would discuss the Excel budget, what you're going to include on each page, and the third part, a little breakdown of your summary of your presentation, what you're going to put there, right? So it's kind of like an outline that you're going to be following during, um, the, during the time that you're working on this project. In week number six, um, that week, the classes will be devoted to um, project questions and answers. So during that week sessions, um, this, the um, lecturer will provide feedback on the first um, or the second project update and also ask you if you have any specific questions regarding your project, right? There's other things that can be discussed, but that should be the focal point there. Then the last Sunday of the course, Sunday, May, 5th, May 1st, um, the final project and presentation is due the Word business proposal, the Excel budget, um, and the, a Word document with a link to your presentation, which will be stored on Google Drive or YouTube. This must be a video and include slides. You must be visible as well, right? After that May 1st, then those are considered late submissions and they'll only be accepted up until Friday, May 6th. Those received after May 1st will be penalized 10%. Nothing will be accepted or graded after May 6th, 2022. Um, you can check with your individual lecturers for any deviations from that guideline there. I can tell you that for my sections, that will be the policy. All right. So again, there'll be um, a separate video for the proposal, one for the budget, and one for the um, presentation provided in the same area that you found this video. Thank you for your time.